All right. Okay. So um, I'm here. I'm here to um talk more about some stuff I've done. I've been doing work partially with how to play. Um, I lowered the volume. Hopefully, it's not too loud. So I covered a lot of the stuff, the HUD stuff, and all that stuff. I'm gonna lower it a little bit just in case. I think this is the first time that the music's being played. If if you like the music, hit the SoundCloud. SoundCloud has all the stuff on it. Anyway. Newest newest edition, the final the final version of how to play. We talk about these these things with um the scoring and all these the mechanics and everything. I, I, I kind of alluded to, alluded to it, but it wasn't really like fully put out. It wasn't fully explained. Or well, it, it was just text. So, you know, each of these things that happened before, like there's text things, there's interactive sections that kind of explain to you how the mechanics work. And then what's important is to give the player a, a how to play wave and this is originally i had a how to play section where there was a how to play wave um they played a how to play whole level a whole level with three two to it was like two minutes two minutes of waves into a boss and i took part of that into here so i mean if you're watching this firsthand you'll see you'll see me play it i'm gonna play it like as I think it optimally will be played. So, don't let this be like how you think it should be played. I'm just going to play it right now. I'm not going to play it optimally, actually. Um, I drank a little bit, so this is probably better. So you, I'll show you all the options you have, all these little things, all how everything interacts. See, orbs how they work. You can pick this up. Um, I might switch now. I might switch too early. Oh no, it's okay. The orb appears. Pull the shot off. Do I get the kill? No, I don't. But it's okay. I can probably get it here. Yeah. Alright, I get the kill. And then the final wave. It gives you an idea of how, how the game is structured. I mean, again, I'm playing it based on everything. And if you wanted to press, if you press A, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to go go forward. If you press A, you know, you go, you, you, you replay it. We're going to the next section, you know. Boss timers. Talking about this. And I, uh, so... I actually should explain that. So, I have I have a boss timer to... I'll, I'll lower it a little bit. So, so I have a boss timer to, to avoid milking. Because part of my influence is in these older 90s... The, these older 90s games. The older 90s uh, horizontal games have free milk. Um, people have seen probably my Battle Mania. I, I, you can freely milk in Battle Mania. Metal Black... You can freely milk. You can... I think you can milk in Zezix. I don't know. Every every Zezix, like, replay I've watched, uh, they just kill them as fast as possible. They don't milk. So I don't know. I don't really milking matters there. But, I mean, I wanted to keep that kind of... That spirit to this thing. So I want there to be that spirit of... You can milk this game. You can... Kind of why I didn't put health bars in. Uh, in Metal Black, there are no health bars, right? The only thing that happens in Metal Black is that the enemies get more red over time. And as they get red, you can kind of read over time um, how close they are to being dead. And I kind of want to do that. I do a chromatic aberration instead because of radioactive. It's the, the force is radioactive, so I thought it would be interesting to do. like Instead of making it red, like in Metal Black, make it like... <laughs> It's, it's, everything's radioactive, it's all, it's all, it's all, it's all like uranium and everything and all this stuff. Why not just make it like chromatic aberration? Because it, it feels like everything's falling apart, like 
all the atoms are splitting apart. So like that's that's my idea. Um, so anyway, so in 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 boss battles, I I wanted to create like this sense. So in 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 border down, when you fight bosses, uh, there's a timer, and uh, the closer you are to the zero on the timer, uh, the better your score is. And if you go beyond zero, like I think just like thirty. I've never gotten a 30 on every on any boss because like I really tried to route this perfectly, um, but like after 30, like it, you just get like a no contest and like you just go to the next stage. But um, the idea is that you want to get as close to zero in Border Down to get like the perfect score for your routing, and I wanted to do something like that sort of, but I wanted I didn't want it to make it like the the, the timer was part of your score. Rather, I wanted the timer to be a threat so i wanted to take this thing in metal black you can you can route in metal you can milk i'm sorry you can milk in metal black forever and what i wanted to do was take that context that that concept of like milking in metal black forever but put it against a timer instead of border down where the timer is a a thing no no, no. in metal black you can route and i'm gonna and I, all the bosses have like uh, think you might never see the next wave that this boss has because you're gonna finish this boss early. But I've routed every boss I've made. All the patterns change, even if you never play into sixty seconds. The the patterns will change. Um, I really want to make it like that because I I I want it to be fluid. I want it to be really interesting. So anyway, so if you if you route. See, so if you go past zero, unlike in Border Down, your rank will drop. So your rank will go down. And then in the next, if your rank is zero in those modes, normal or normal or hard, then your your bit cash will stop dropping. It'll start dropping because it can't drain from rank anymore. So it has to drain from something. Can't drain from rank. So it has to drain from, drain from your health. And then uh, in black, which is not done, so don't play black. It's it's not decided. It's not perfect. But in black, rank doesn't rank is fixed at two. So the only thing that happens when you hit zero is that would we drain? You drain your bit cash. Um, so understanding that. Well, I'll show it. I'll show it in this boss. So, boss shows up. I'm gonna raise the volume a little bit because this is the new music. So we all oh, stuff. Everything, everything that applies in the earlier sections applies here. You can use your your ship if you want. If you have it stored up, depends. Uh, I don't think I have it set to be stored up initially. You won't get hurt, by the way. Th that is part of the shield. So you can use it. The boss moves around based on rank. Everything in this boss is based on your rank. Uh, there's like... 40 different... Well, I'm gonna say 40. There's... Every... Every boss I, I've, I've programmed. I, the, the hardest thing for me to program is actually waves, not bosses. Bosses are actually really straightforward. Because with bosses, I can really program it very simple according to rank. But with, with enemies, I have to program according to stage first. With bosses, the stage isn't moving. So I, it's very easy for me to program something. So I'll use the ship again because it's up. Uh, it, it won't hit him if he if he's already in it. So he gets hit once, basically. So Now, I could have used the ship earlier to have gotten to absorb those bullets so you, you have to think about everything you do in terms of score right so see see ranks really low so these bullets are really slow but as rank builds up the, the bullets will be get faster oh i got hit damn that sucks oh well boss is pretty low on health though so and we're pretty we're, we're pretty low on rank so rank's gonna start lowering now here you see it's starting to lower and i i i killed the boss at around zero so like the health didn't start maybe the health started to fall but that kind of gives an idea of 
I mean, I took the I took the fall there just to show. The boss score isn't really that good, so it takes the score from that how to play earlier thing. That gets added to this. So if you don't play the how to play thing and you just play the boss, you'll only get the boss score. I think that's really cool. I think it's really nice to see. If you only play the boss section, you'll only get that score. But if you only play, like, the this section of... If you play this this working with rank and score thing, this is the waves. And it's like playing a stage. Like, that's like a section of the game. And then if you go to this boss timer thing, that's like playing the boss. And if you play this section... So when you start up... If you start up how to play... Like, if you go back, your score gets set to zero here. And then this is where your score gets... This is where score gets added to. If you click this, your score gets set to zero, and then everything in here gets added to score, and then it sends you down to here. And then that score from that gets added to the score for the boss. And that gives you an idea when the end score comes up, how the scoring works, because it all gets added together. It gets compounded. Because it's really hard to, it's so, it's so hard. I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you real quick. And they, I'll do a, I'll do a reset here. Oh, showed up good. All right. So I'm working on stage three right now. And I'm trying to re reconfigure it. And so like, this used to have a ton of units on it. I, I removed them because I didn't like how it felt. It, I didn't like the flow. And I'm working with new, new, new units now, new enemies. So here's a new enemy. And, you know, there's a new thing. It's not quite there. Like this isn't. This is all kind of like work in progress. This is all gonna be in the. Hopefully, if I can finish it, like it's still bu still buggy. You can see it's still buggy. Hopefully, this will be in the beta, in the in the in the demo. Next section I have down. This section is great. I'll, I'll show this off. This like this is hard actually. There's like a very specific routing for this, which I think is kind of fucked up there there's there's like a very specific see there's the routing and then these enemies they're these enemies uh i have to change their bullet pattern so if you look at this i'm gonna hit them see those the bullets the the laser that came off is isn't aligned correctly so i need to fix that so stage three is a mess uh, you know, I, I have to work on it. The boss is done. The boss, actually, I love the boss for this stage. That's why I want to have three stages for the demo, because uh, the boss is so cool, and I really want it to be, like, it shows the ramping up of the concept. Like, every stage kind of builds up. It kind of has its own unique question. So, like, each... What I'm trying to do is, like, each stage has, like, a, a, it, it has its own identity. And, um... Let's say, like, at the at the end of, like... Oh, I'll go back. We'll go back for this. One sec. So, you know, at the beginning of stage two... So, you just kill kill the first boss. The first boss is the bomber. The first boss is the one that has all the, the exploding ones. And so, I start this stage with, with... With sort of, like, the last resort. This is the last resort of the bomber. This is... This is the final gambit. And then new enemies appear. This this is something you've never seen before. And it's like, oh, what is this enemy? Right? And you know, I want each section to be like we're introducing we introduce new enemy types based on the enemy that's go the, the boss that's gonna show up in the next section. So there's still like these these final sections of this Oh, and then this, this is an enemy that we saw earlier, right? But it's it's a little more Balanced. I mean, I, this is a border down pattern, sort of. So it's a little, it's it's a little balanced. But there's these bombers and all this kind of stuff. And there's this this pattern that's very memorizer ish. I mean, if you watch this already, you figure out the pattern. But that it doesn't get easy because there's there's this. There's these big guys, the big, the big, the big guys we saw in the last stage, at the end of stage one, you know? How do they play into everything? If you don't kill them, you know, they're worth points. If you don't kill them, if you can't figure out the pattern, I mean, personally, like, th there's routing for this. I, I've just changed it, so it's, it's not perfect. I just changed some of the patterns, so I mean, I don't know the routing perfectly. But, like, there's an answer 
I guarantee there's an answer to every situation in this. And that's what makes it really interesting is that I think as I work on it, I'm like, oh, oh, I found something that I didn't expect. Because like if I if I use my tools properly, it works. Um, and also the problem is that like my debug, in my debug thing, I use Max. I use like close to Max because I'm trying to test um, the homing shot, which is the homing shot's really bugged. Uh, so <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying to work with it, but uh, you know, but it's, it's not perfect, but you know, it is, it is what it is. But I, I'm trying to think about this problem is that like each game, you know, is dealing with its own problem. So like when you make a game and a lot of people don't get this when they make games, they're like, oh, well, I got to make a game. Like my game has to be like a certain cave game or something or like, like you watch like the videos, like I love I think I think Boghog did a great service to people by uh, making that that level thing. But he, I mean, he told people to also study. And for me, you know, I look at the games that I like, the games that I like to play, and it's like every time, every stage. There's nothing. Every stage is unique. In horizontal horizontal games are all unique. They're all a little different. There's there's like something about them. Every game is you you know, it's 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 there's this there's this saying by um abba pullman um one of the desert fathers it's a uh, teacher mouth to say that which is in your heart and i think a lot of a lot of like bad shmups like like bad as in like the ones that are like people just make it because like oh well making a shmup's easy you know kind of people or like making games are easy or whatever kind of oh making platform is simple but it's like sort of like these people have nothing within them to say and but when i come back and i look at like what i'm trying to do it's like it's not perfect it's not i i, I there's so much there's so much in this it's so messy it's so it's so i don't know these patterns these waves these angles they're not they're not perfect they're 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 not quite there but i'm trying to express ideas that i think are valuable um, I mean, are they, are they gonna be, no, they're not gonna be perfect, they're not gonna be, no game's perfect, there's no such thing as a perfect game, every game has bugs, every game has questionable things in it, even my favorite game, my favorite games are all kind of questionable at some, to some degree, maybe to difficulty or whatever, G-Rev, G-Rev is not beyond critique, though they are perfect, but, you know, at the same time, we can say, G Rev went too far a few times. I mean, Border Down is kind of unrelenting, and it maybe maybe too maybe to a fault because six D six D is too hard. At the same time, I don't care. I mean, but I I, I mean, but like, I don't think that's a bad thing. But I just think that like you have to you have to understand is that like you have to you have to when you reinterpret how you make things, um. You have to come to terms with what you want to say, how you want to express it, and then when you when you put it into term in, into those into words, you know, is that what you want to say? Because I mean, if you what you want to say, if you're going to alter it for other people to say, oh, I want other people to like what I make, you know, then you're not saying that which is in your heart. You're just kind of like making something because you want to make some money or whatever and it's but like what's the point of making what's the point of being honest be making things or whatever if you know like there's no there's no like d desire to do it you know what's the point so um you know again you know teach your mouth to say that which is in your heart that's that's i i, I think that's 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 the end of all arcade games i mean yagawa I believe Yagawa, and you look at like anyone. You know, you look at uh, Ikena or anyone else. You know, they 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 made they made the game that they wanted to play. That they made something that they felt was worth investing in. That that is that is your heart. That is you feel it. It's not intellectual. It's not a a lot of people put too much intellectualism into games and it's not about that 
Games are not intellectual. <laughs> we've we've been tricked into thinking this because of optimizations and speed running all these games aren't intellectual games are feel you feel it or you don't feel it and you can't get if you want to get that speed run score or whatever you have to feel it first you can optimize as much as you can in your mind but if you can't feel it it's not there 